So now I'm checked into a job. And as you can see, when you're checked into a job, your timer's running. You can pause the timer. You can, if you wanna take a lunch break, you can start the timer again. Um, and then you can also see a summary of the job. So this is just a test job, so it doesn't have that much information, but you can see that the service is move in, move out clean. It tells you there's four bedrooms, one bath, one square foot, one window. Um, if there's additional information, that's gonna be here. Um, so will you be home for service? Yes. If there's any additional notes from the customer, um, they would be located here. Um, also, if there's notes on the appointment, there is going to be a pop-up before they get started that says um, what the note is, and then they click, I've read this note. So that way you won't miss your notes because it's gonna pop up immediately when you get to the job. Um, also again, you have checklists. So checklists are, this is you know, a blank checklist, but your admin will set up a checklist. And as you finish a task, you can mark it off just by simply clicking um, the, the, the list. Usually you would have subtasks, but because again, this is a test list, you don't have, I don't have subtasks, um, but you can easily just click and mark these off. And as you mark different things off, you see the percentage you're um, completed. Also here, you can take before and after pictures, um, allow us to access your camera, and you can click photo, use photo, And then that photo's there. Um, and I can type in four and confirm and save. And then your admin will have um, your pictures right there. So if they need to bring them up for a past job or for a client, it's all right there. Um, and you can also add pictures here if you don't use the checklist. Um, just simply click add picture and your, your picture will be added. Now, once you've done everything on your checklist, and you're at 100%, you're gonna go ahead and click complete job. Now complete job will show you that I traveled for six minutes, I worked for three minutes, and for, you know, if for some reason you travel for longer, you can edit it. Um, your admin can actually see how long you've traveled, so if you haven't actually traveled for 13 minutes and you edit it for 13 minutes, your admin can tell. Um, but maybe you didn't, uh, you forgot to log your time. You can edit it there. Um, and then also just look at the details of the job. So the job was on Sullivan Street. Um, here was the customer. This was the date. I took one picture and my checklist was completed. Um, all looks good. So I'm going to complete my checkout. And once you complete your checkout, you can't go back. So make sure you've done everything and then click OK. Um, and then you'll see on your list that you are now checked out of that appointment. And your admin will get a push notification saying that you've checked out and completed that job. So that is the basics of checking in um, to On My Way, going through your work diary, and then checking out the job.